Allie Bell from Party Over Here came on board and then Anna Kendrick said yes. And all of a sudden, very Andy Samberg agreed. So before you know it, things started building. I was like, oh, we're actually gonna make this movie. So you are here for your movie. Uh, I heard that you wrote it in the pandemic during the throes of the same existential crisis I'm sure yes. you're all in. Yes. Um, but were you wanting to always write a movie for yourself to direct or were you just like started scribbling down something? I started scribbling down on this one. I had a film executive tell me that fi the film business as I knew it was going away Fun. and that things were going to be more, you know, selfies. Uh, places sent you the camera equipment you filmed in your backyard and oh. sent it in. And I thought like, oh, pass. <laughs> <laughs> this is not for old Jakester. So I started writing something that I thought, this is what I would like to do. This is the tone I would like to do. This is the kind of movie I've always wanted to make. Okay. I came up with this idea years ago. And then as the world started opening, I was already pretty deep in it. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, what if there was a show where they said like, if you lose, you die. And I know I would too. This was pre-Squid Game. This was pre-Squid. Okay. I pitched the show, you know, in 2017 as an idea. Wow. Okay. Um, but like, what would happen? And I thought, like, well, I would definitely watch it. Uh, and then when the pandemic hit, I thought, like, these are all the themes mm. that uh, I think are really interesting. And you know, the the early genesis of it was, what if Jacob's Ladder had some laughs to it? <laughs> Right? <laughs> have any trouble essentially getting this like fully greenlit? Kind of, kind of not. I had, honestly, I had, I've done a lot of indie movies in the past. And then in the pandemic, I made a really small indie called Ride the Eagle with Trent O'Donnell, which we made for 11 days in our backyards. Wow. So I always assumed if that side of it didn't work out, I could make this movie for way cheaper and mm. have more control. Describe your character in the movie. Yeah, so um, uh, my character. Yeah, so my character Tommy is a guy. He uh, is in a rut in his life. He does like statistical analysis. It's based off a friend of mine who I grew up. Oh, with. I was not supposed to based off of Chandler Bing. Is that what he did? Statistical analysis and data reconfiguration. Yeah, I, ba I base his character off Chandler Bing. <laughs> <laughs> That's the headline. Get the friends people in this. He's kind of in a rut. He, he got broken up with a couple years prior and he's just not really moving forward in the way that he should. And then this uh, opportunity falls in his lap. And when the opportunity falls in his lap to go like, wow, like you picked me. I get to do this crazy game show and there's a loophole to the game show. And that is the, the people playing the game trying to kill you, you have 30 days to live. Um, so you can't be alone. Yeah. Did you film it in between seasons, filming seasons one and two of Minx? Yes, then? and then I okay. uh, I did post while shooting Minx. Oh, interesting. Yeah, which was unique. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I would be editing at work dressed in the 70s. On, <laughs> <laughs> on the, uh, we edited a remote, so we were on pack post. So I'd be oh, with the editor, okay. with sometimes executives having a meeting, dressed like a 70s pornographer, and nobody's <laughs> even mentioning it. I would just be like, Look, I totally hear what you're saying about the second act, but I really believe in it. And then I'd see my own little bubble and I'd be like, button your like shirt, open, homie. Yeah, yeah. Shirt you look ridiculous. I'd be wearing a fur jacket. It's like, you look <laughs> silly on this call. Mm -hmm. 